boot into recovery mode press the power button and volume up button continuously it's booted into orange fox recovery i am using here the latest orange fox recovery swipe to unlock go to this wipe section select dalvik catch system vendor data and swipe here to wipe done go to install and select the rom zip file before that flash the firmware the latest 12.5.1 violet in global this is the latest firmware available for redmi note 7 pro okay later go to rom zip file cr droid latest version okay this is the latest available build let me show you february 27th with february 5th february 27th latest build of cr droid for this redmi note 7 pro it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully this is a vanilla os build there is no jobs build as of now go to again files section and select here if you want you can use any other I am using Flame G Apps Canary Troll Full ARM 64. This is the G Apps I am using. It also takes a little bit of time. Wait until it gets flashed. If you want, you can use Nick Core G Apps also. They have mentioned Nick Core G Apps only, but I already have this. Hence, flashing this. I hope they should give both the builds vanilla and also G Apps build. But anyhow, we can manually flash them also. okay flame g apps has successfully flashed again go to file section and select this fcrypt disabler v3 zip file done this is the flashing method of cr droid latest version for redmi note 7 pro and select here if you want to format data you can do that you can skip this f3 decrypt disabler zip file that's how you need to do and go to reboot and select the system and in this video i'm going to discuss about all the benchmark results bgma gameplay battery life everything regarding this cr.8.2 based on android as you can see it's booted into cr. stay tuned till the end of the video so that what i said before you will come to understand regarding this rom and let's begin this video <laughs> Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampati watching Sampat Samfx Redmi Note 7 Pro reviews and custom ROM reviews and this is Android 12 best CR Droid version 8.2 with 5th February 2022 and vendor security patch level is also February 5th 2022 latest build available with February 27th build date and kernel used here is 4.14.190 Excalibur plus kernel has been used it's also latest kernel has been used in this ROM and coming to CPU throttling test I have been running from last 5 minutes you can check out here the maximum is 140 average is 136 and minimum is 122 excellent performance here no CPU thermal throttling has been detected in this ROM not just that let me show you some of the benchmark results in this ROM as you can see the Geekbench scores are also pretty good in this ROM as you can see the single score is 497 and multi score is 1466 which is very good for Redmi Note 7 Pro powering Snapdragon 675 and also this entered benchmark result this is one of the highest for Redmi Note 7 Pro as of now as you can see 2 lakh 83,299 and temperature raise is just 2.4 degrees celsius and 4% of battery has been dropped during this testing but what a score it is wow for redmi note 7 pro it's an highest score in my channel as of now and let me go into speed test it's also working fine even with mobile data connection also the internet speeds and 4g plus i mean the carrier aggregation all the things are working fine and coming to dialer also you get google dialer and there is a video call feature and even the 
call recording feature is also available in this ROM and Google Go camera is pre-installed camera you get but basic things you can do it out I have installed this Gcam if you want you can use any other Gcam ports and even you can flash the ANX camera also that support is also there in this ROM regarding the DRM info in this ROM you get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the HD resolution in OTT application that's also working fine into the safety net status fortunately it should get passed no it will unfortunately the safety net status failed here you should manually pass the safety net status in this ROM and coming to home settings let's see wallpapers and style you get these kind of wallpapers only these CR red style themed icons are given dark theme is given into that dark theme okay we'll see in that settings and app grid you get from 2 into 2 to up to 6 into 10 is available into the grid size and uh, coming into quick settings panel this is under 12 style quick settings panel into the screen recording you get plenty of options you can record with device audio and microphone both together you can record and some of the options you can read here and coming to settings here print of options and lot more customization available in this room let's see one by one into the apps you get default apps here you can choose the default app from here for example if you want to use the browser other than the chrome and you want to make it default you can make from here and even phone app is google dial you can keep it to true color or like that so those things can be done from here screen time is given unused apps you can check out from here and you can uninstall them and special app access plenty of options has been given here you can check out and disable or enable from here coming into battery settings you can see here it was around 50 55 percent while flashing very good battery life not bad considering the performance you are getting in this rom i think this is okay for redmi note sample the performance is really really good i will be showing you the bgm also stay tuned till the end of the video and coming into battery saver you won't get any extreme battery saver here this is how it is and at all is implemented and notification settings you get bubbles all the features you can check out here you can enable or disable from here sound settings all the basic things are given and me sound enhancer i mean the direct sound settings you can enable from here you can choose the earphone type and preset from here that's also working fine and charging sounds are also a little bit given as you can see wired charging you can keep the colors something like this from here that's also working fine no problem regarding that coming to display setting extra dim feature adaptive brightness is also working fine let me increase a little bit of brightness extra dim lock screen screen time on dark theme let's see other no it's not pitch black condition let's see in the sear dot settings we have any settings to make it pitch black and there are this color option naturally boosted saturated and adaptive you can change from here tap to wake tap to sleep wake and play game and display is also working fine no problem regarding that also coming into accessibility menu there is no accessibility menu just the options are given but that's missing i don't know why it's missing and into the security options you get face lock and fingerprint lock smart lock also there is no app locker and encryption current phone is not encrypted obviously i did flash with fcap disabled so it's not encrypted if you want to do that you can format the data and flash the rom that's how it is and all the basic settings locations working fine system into system gestures into the gesture navigation three button you can keep it out and there is an no option to increase the gesture bar length radius and margin those options are missing here. in some of the other smartphones with similar so, CR droid we are getting that but in notes number it's not there and these are the CR droid settings plenty of customization if you just scrolling down scroll down like this you'll be getting unt until this there are plenty of options there are cool features here first thing is game space I mean gaming mode if you enable this you get dynamic mode disable automatic brightness notification overlay you can adjust the opacity level also you can disable the notification alert no ringing answering calls automatically disable swipe gesture whenever you are in the gaming mode i mean playing a games and disable usb debugging you can enable or disable them and here you need to enable this option unlock higher fps in 
games if you enable this like for example i have bgma game here installed if you disable that you will get 40 fps if you enable it will get up to 60 fps games and unlimited photo storage is also available in this room you need to manually turn this on by default it's turned on if it is available you will get it and i mean if it's disabled you can manually turn it on from here and swipe to screenshot is also added in the miscellaneous settings pocket detection is given into the sound settings you get pulse plenty of options you can see here lava lamp is also given in this rom vibrate and connect call waiting disconnect is also available and coming to notifications noisy notification heads up less boring blink flash head for incoming calls you can choose here as you can see based upon your requirement battery light and notification lights are also given into the user interface you get ambient display you can see here plenty of options here also to customize them and full screen apps you can enable some of the apps which are not in full screen if you want to manually make it full screen from here you can do it out and screen of animation 3 are given and monet settings it's also available into that custom color also you can choose from here there is no dark theme for dark mode i mean pitch black condition that's i have required but anyhow navigation bar style you get plenty of options you can choose one among them font style also plenty are given you can use them and icon pack also given in this room signal icon style also you can choose from here even icon shape also coming into buttons you get power menu and advanced restart option also available in this room you can enable some of the settings from here end call long press to touch wake device answer call control playback keyboard cursor control and reorientation you can adjust from here into the navigation again navigation bar pixel animation show arrow keys while tapping layout invert layout back long press home long press home double tap recent long press edge long swipe this is all the actions you can make it out using the gestures support come into lock screen you get media cover art filter and battery info small lock tap to slip fingerprint sensation vibration and error vibration you can enable or disable from here even the ripple effect also quick settings clock date battery style you can choose some of the options are given here and battery location also you can choose and even the battery percentage also you can choose whether to hide or notify between left and right those customizations are given battery estimation battery slider position auto brightness icon footer alerts user account icon in title icon power menu shortcut running service shortcut and settings shortcut also given in this room into status bar here also plenty of options has been given status bar icons you can choose from here enable or disable clock style you can keep among them clock and date here also plenty of options network traffic monitor is also included in this room old style signal icon and data disabled indicator 4g icon roaming indicator combined signal icons bluetooth battery status voltage icon vivo wi-fi icon and vivo wi-fi override plenty you just scroll down here battery style you can choose from here battery percentage also you can adjust from here tap to sleep brightness control and quick pull down and smart pull down are also included in this rom these are the cr droid customization and settings in this rom let's see the bgma gameplay what are the settings we get when we enabled that unlock the high fps count let's see the graphic settings as you can see it's up to 90 fps is enabled but we have here redmi note 7 pro it's capable up to just 60 fps you can keep that and uh, let's see whether hdr options now only smooth plus 90 fps is enabled but you can use smooth plus extreme and there is this gaming mode but how to enable the frames per second here i don't know that's how it is and let's see how is the gameplay and volume is kept to 70 percent it's loud enough definitely and also gameplay is also playable Okay. It little bit lags now and then as you can see. I don't think so it's in very good gaming room but you have to
definitely it was unplayable at that moment it's a bit difficult i don't know why Okay, I'll come back. It was not that great experience with this room, but definitely you're getting that smooth plus extreme and bench benchmark results. Everything is working fine. If I clear the background apps, then it would be better, I guess. But anyhow, this of the ROM RAM management, it's booted out of the memory. Obviously, it's long time enough to open that app again. That's how the ROM. Let's see the this of the charging animation with under twelve type that obling effect whenever you plug in the charger and let's see the face unlock it's very very fast as you can see and also i will show you the fingerprint unlock also it's also very fast those things are really like really working fine just i missed that pitch black condition in the settings whenever i apply the dark theme that's the only one thing missing and some of the bugs like gameplay is unplayable whenever it's many apps are open sometimes maybe it's a random bug those are the bugs you need to keep in mind and you can definitely try it out as a daily driver and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys many people are watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel hit that subscribe red color button down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps keep smiling bye bye for now